Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Aaron, I make videos on open world games that I like. And in today's video I want to talk about Dead Island 2, which is right around the corner, 21st of April. And uh, people are hyped, I get the hype, it's been developed for such a long time, Dead Island 2. I've made Dead Island content in the past, I love the series, and... Uh, yeah, what I want to showcase today, what I want to show you guys is that, uh, to tell you guys is that, um, I have my concerns with Dead Island 2. Why? Because the publisher is Deep Silver. Now a big punch in the back for the PC players, oh, you want to play the game on Steam? No, it's gonna be on Epic Game Store. That's alarming. And, uh, knowing Deep Silver, being worked with them in the past, uh-uh, uh-uh. So, I've seen some videos having like a dislike ratio kind of big regarding Dead Island 2 and some gameplay. And uh, I believe Dead Island 2 could turn out to be a good game, honestly. But let's talk a bit about Deep Silver's latest project before Dead Island 2, which was, you guessed it, Saints Row. Funny thing is that Saints Row the reboot also <laughs> wasn't on Steam. Like, they, they, they care so much about money with these publishers, these developers. They'd be like, well, if we sell it on Epic Game Store, a store that majority of the PC players hate, we're gonna get more money. That's not a good marketing strategy. You should release it on the most favorable gaming platform on PC, which is Steam. It will boost the sales, it will be better. But they're like, we can make enough money. And that's alarming. That's alarming. The Island is a great title. And the Dialogue 2 being in development for so long, it, it might be a bit too hyped because you know people will be like, man, this game has been in development for such a long time, you know, such a long time, it has to be good. And from what I've seen regarding the Dialogue 2, even before this re announcement was interesting, I watched every single developer video and it was a nice vibe but it's alarming to me that the island 2 will not be on steam it's alarming to me because the island 2 has the publishers which are deep silver and uh this game might turn out to be great but again let's look back at saying so the reboot it was the opposite of what the fans wanted they wanted to attract a new fan base and they destroyed the series in this process this is alarming because not even talking about the Deep Silver community manager here. Uh, when you have already a fan base, which also Dead Island has, you must keep them happy. Now, I see that Dead Island 2 is doing a better job than Sensor with this. Their marketing is better, they're not using AI to, to, to share news. And uh, yeah, he's doing a great job. But I have my uh, doubtness about the game. Because Deep Silver is the publisher. Now, I'm not saying hate the Island 2, I'm just saying be careful about the game. You might get a surprise that will knock you down. I'm not pre-ordering the game, didn't pre-order Saints Row since they, the, the way they, they, they destroyed it, they destroyed Saints Row with everything. So even though the game has been developed for such a long time, it could have its flaws. And again, I'm not hating on the game, I'm not hating on the developers. I'm just hating on Deep Silver, because I know their style. And uh, yeah, just be careful about the Dynamite too. Hype is good, but don't overhype it. It might be trash. And uh, yeah, it could be a good game. We'll just have to see. But considering that Deep Silver are the publishers, it might suck. Also, don't forget my this is the best deal. April, everyone gets a free Dead Island 2 cosmetic pack. I mean, in Dead Island 2 cosmetic pack. So, Deep Silver, with their last earned tribution to Saints Row, could feel great about it. Don't forget to get the cosmetic pack, guys. 